And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the David Hammond YouTube channel. Now in this one, guys, straight to it, we are speaking on how ego is not the problem, okay? Ego is not the enemy, ego is not the problem. I believe a guy named Alicia Long, Elijah Long, he, he said ego is not the enemy, so I'm not gonna title it that, but, but serendipitously enough, or well, I guess what would be the right word, you know, as I saw that video, that really got me thinking, and this is an idea and a topic I've been really dealing with and, uh, you know, thinking about for, for many, many years. And I, I guess, coincidentally enough, a lot of you guys have been too at the exact same time. This is why I'm saying, guys, I just made an Instagram story or post of you guys. Let me know what videos you want to see. We're all connected. Okay, what I'm thinking of, you guys are thinking of. What you guys are thinking of, I'm thinking of. When I win, you win. When you go through something, I go through something. It's just what happens. You know, it's just, it's just the way life works. So anyways, ego is not the problem. I believe I'm going to title it that because I don't want to steal the exact video idea. I don't know. Um, and, and now in my own way, okay? Why? This is very, very important. What you guys must understand is that anything in life is a tool, okay? Or really everything in life is blank. There is no up or down. It's neutral, we could say. There's no such thing as good, bad, up, down, positive, yes, no, dark, white. I mean, there is, but essentially life lies in between. Life is gray area, right? And ego is no different. Okay, now a lot of times in scriptures and books and et cetera, et cetera, ego, for the most part, gets demonized. And for good reason, because this is because a lot of people tend to utilize ego in one of the darker extremes, opposed to just keeping it, like I said, like it should be in the middle ground. Life is the middle path. Life is, it just is. Okay, global pandemic, is that good or bad? You tell me. What's bad produces good. What's good produces bad. Everything just is, okay? That's what I want to say. Ego is no different. Now, ego can be destructive, like anything. Anything can be destructive, okay? Uh, again, I'm beating a dead horse. And that's most times what happens. So there is a propensity for these books and authors to say, like, you know, ego is the enemy, ego is bad, ego is this, don't use it. I mean, don't don't let it override you, because for most people, it does. It's almost like, it's like fire, you know? You can cause a lot of damage with fire. And probably people who are unaware of how to use it will, that, that's the key word, unaware, will probably cause destruction because they just don't know. I mean, imagine the first caveman, who, you know, who, who created fire. He probably burned down half the entire city, right? Because he didn't know what to do. He had no clue how to properly utilize it, right? So if we can learn to properly utilize ego as a tool, just like the fire or the torch or the, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the lawnmower, anything, right? Anything can cause destruction. But if we can learn to properly utilize it, not only can it benefit us, but it can actually benefit the lives of others around us, right? Crazy, David, the ego, the ego can benefit others. Fuck yeah, it can benefit others. Now let me explain. The ego, guys, in a nutshell, is essentially anything that you conceptualize as your own or is different from others, which you need. This is human existence. For me to make this YouTube channel, I need some ego, period. For me to claim what is rightfully, even though, do you see? Claim what is rightfully, the word rightfully, that is ego. What is mine and not yours? Dissonance. Anything dissonance and separate and creating division is, in a sense, ego. That's not bad, though. You see, we need this as human beings. Otherwise, we would all flesh and we would all just be the same. We'd kind of be like cows. You think of, you see, the ego is constructed by the rational mind or the neocortex, the, the, the most evolved part of our brain that is only found in human beings and a little bit in chimpanzees, right? Which allows us to think in the future and the past. This is how we form dissonance right? Religion, um, uh, science, ideas. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, right? It's just like the mind. The mind can be a tool, right? We need this because if we don't, if we didn't have an ego and we were just to mesh and blend in with all each other, like I said, we'd be like animals. There'd be no, dis there'd be no difference. How can you tell this cow from this cow? You can't. They're all cow. Cows. Does that make sense? Right? Now, of course, the animals can have very slight different personalities, like, oh, this cow, you know, I don't know, is, is a happier cow, and this cow, I don't know, likes to be alone, but they're the same, right? Now, I don't think it would be beneficial to live in a world where all of us human beings are the same. In fact, I think it's very beneficial for us to have different contrasting ideas, elements, themes, behaviors, egos, because that enables us to not only build ourself up, yes, through separation, because we need contrast to even understand who we are. Right? This is what I'm saying. Ego is a good thing. It can be used as a good thing. If you, how, <laughs> anyways, I'm, I'm getting way too off topic. 
if you can learn to utilize ego, which is essentially dissonance, it's contrast, it's I'm different than you, therefore this is mine, this is yours, we can learn to build up our own resources and then share that through overflowing it to other people. Whereas if we're all just egoless and chilling with each other and just, oh, hey, I don't have a name, you don't have a name, there'd be no speech. Speech is, think of animals. How can you, how can you, you see, the beautiful thing with human beings is because of our neocortex, we're able to build things that no other animal can. We're able to rationalize, conceptualize. I give you this, you give me this. Build businesses, empires, cults, teams. Go to war. You ever see cows going to war? Fuck no, they don't understand what that is. There's no ego, right? If we can utilize this as a tool, we can create beautiful lives for ourselves and the community around us. I create this YouTube channel. I think this is one of the best goddamn, in fact, I think this is, yeah, probably one of the best damn self-development YouTube channels in the entire game. Is that ego? You tell me, right? Do you see how it can get kind of toxic? But if I'm choosing to utilize this ego, right? Ego, is, that, is this even ego? You tell me. To what I tell myself, benefit myself and then benefit the community around me. Is ego the enemy then? I read hundreds of comments a day on how this channel's changed your lives. Is ego the enemy? Right, and you could even argue, well, David, this is an ego. You, <laughs> the definition of ego, I don't know, man. I use quite a bit. <laughs> I love ego. Ego's good, you need it. But don't let it control you. It's like fire, use it as a tool. Don't let it burn the, I'm thinking of um, uh, Mowgli Jungle Book. I don't know if you guys ever saw Jungle Book, the newer one, the, uh, the like the real life looking one. It was, it was really, it was animated beautifully. Holy crap. The, uh, this may sound silly if you guys haven't seen this, but like, yeah, the Jungle Book, the new one where it's like they have the, what do they call it? It's, it's a fire, right? And the animals have no clue what it is because it just burns down the entire thing because man didn't know how to use it. And, it, and they call, what do they call it? The red leaf or something like that? And they were like all terrified of the fire because it like burned down the entire forest, right? But they understood and it's actually what's, I don't want to ruin the movie, but it's a very important part in the movie, which actually did a lot of good from something that could do a lot of bad. So you tell me, is it good or bad? It's like ego. Is it good or bad? Well, it depends how you use it. Don't let it control you. Don't let it burn down the entire forest. That's what most people do. They're unaware of the fire within, so they just let it burn their relationships, right? Burn their physical health, their mental health, their emotional health. Well, that's your fault. That's not ego's fault. That's your fault. You don't know how to control it. Learn to control it. You learn to utilize it. Learn to allow it to enhance your life to then flourish and benefit the lives of others. So that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know tons of you guys. I've gotten so many DMs on, on this exact question, and it's something I uh, vividly remember for years, like... Man, I almost went egoless at a point where like I didn't even like have any opinion of my own because that is ego. And it wasn't fun because you're just a blob. You're just, you need ego. How the fuck are you going to build an empire without ego? You can't. You can't. You can't. Ego is your friend. Use it well. Don't let it consume you. And uh, what are they called? The red, I want that. I don't, I don't, the red leaf? The fire leaf? I don't know. If you guys watch the movie Jungle Book, let me know. They're like, the red rose? I think that's what it was. Was it the red rose? I don't know. Anyways, that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I know this video will definitely help you guys. So give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Let's run it, guys. And we'll finish it on the plugs here. Woo! I thought I wasn't recording for a second. If you guys would like to work with me, there's always one-on-one -on -one coaching. You guys can check that out. I'd love to help transform your lives, guys, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, or what I call the four areas of growth, guys, becoming a self-developed man. You can check that below. There's the self-development course, guys, which is a near four-hour-long course of doing just that, improving your health, fitness, nutrition, intermittent fasting, no fat, meditation, maximizing relationships through masculinity, understanding femininity, finding your passion, turning that into the business, the four areas of growth, guys. These products, these services are no joke. They are changing your lives. And finally, the workshop, guys, of June coming up where I take on 15 to 20 of you men per month and I coach you guys in a group setting. We have four one-hour live stream calls all over Zoom and a private Facebook group for you guys to ask any questions. We, uh, we're we crushing the one of May. We're almost done it. I absolutely love it. And the one of June's coming up. So there still are spots available, guys. Definitely claim your spot down below the first link and I will see you guys on the other side. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Apply this, use it as a tool and you will be good. Not only can you be good, you can be better. All right. It's like fire. I mean, you think about it, right? It's, it's common sense. Huh? Do you know how much fire's done for us? Yes, it's caused damage. Do you know how much it's done for us? How far we've moved forward? Anyways, this is, it's a tool. Stop labeling it as good or bad. Just that's idiotic. Nothing is good or bad. It's how you use it, right? Language, you understand? Clothing, anything. Love, right? You can go deep with this. This is non-duality, a different video. So that's it. Thanks guys so much. Talk to you next one with that.
Peace.